Illawarra North has farewelled an icon of its community, somebody many considered the face of its resilience. As the town experiences a resurgence, residents say it's becoming everything Betty Foley campaigned for. Charlotte Lamb reports. It was one of the towns hit hardest by the privatisation of power stations. But when many residents moved away from your lawn north, Betty Foley stood her ground. She grew up here, all her memories are here, um, and she just felt that it needed to be saved. Betty Foley died on December 29, aged 81. She leaves behind three children, eight grandchildren, five great-grandchildren and one devastated community. She's been the epitome of everything that you would like your kids to grow up to be at any time as being a, a valued citizen of the community. One who gives her heart and soul to everything that's within the town. A little library inside the bowling club, just one of the more quirky legacies Betty leaves behind. A member of several community groups, she campaigned for a better town and was today remembered in a church she had once fought to save. After saving the tennis club in her mid-twenties, Betty spent the rest of her life campaigning to upgrade the recreation reserve for future generations. Now part of that venue will be named after her and a historical plaque will be installed. Yulon North is experiencing a resurgence with new businesses opening and housing estates being developed. Everything Betty had hoped for. Even now, now that she's gone, she's probably up there going, yeah, great, <laughs> what she can do. But yeah, it, it, it is mum. Like, um, she'd be really pleased that her town's sort of thriving. Charlotte Lamb, Nine News.